Hey y'all, it's Anastasia, and today I'm here with a big announcement. This week is the start of applications opening up for the Quantum Open Source Foundation Mentorship Program, and I will be one of the mentors. In just three months, you'll execute on an open source quantum project and learn a ton about quantum computing and software, and collaborate with some awesome researchers in both industry and academia. Are you interested? I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the program, the projects that you'll expect to do, and some tips and tricks for the application. So why does this mentorship program even exist? Well, first, there's not a lot of materials at the intermediate level. The textbooks are great, and if you're new to quantum computing, check out this video I have on best quantum textbooks I'd recommend, but there aren't a ton of hands-on projects. And the field is moving super fast. It seems like every week there's a new quantum platform or new research or a new quantum programming language all coming in all at once, and a mentor can help you get real insight into the field. First, let's talk about the timeline. The applications are now open and you can check out the link in the description below. So the mentors have been gathered and the Quantum Open Source Foundation is gonna go through all the applications and pick mentees from the group. Besides the application itself, you'll also be given two homework tasks. You will have two weeks to complete the tasks. And this is really to make sure we have the skills to mentor you and that you'll actually like the program. In late September and early October, the mentor and mentee will come up with a project idea together. This will be something open source and can be done in about three months. From October to January, you'll execute on these projects. We expect that you commit about six to eight hours a week for this program. We'll check in with you at least every two weeks to make sure you're progressing on your project and that you're not stuck. There's also Slack for the Quantum Open Source Foundation, so you'll have access to all the mentors there. Everyone will be super happy to help and we have experts across all the fields in quantum computing. So in January 2021, you'll have a fully formed finished quantum computing project to put in your portfolio. Depending on your project, this could be a blog post, a research paper, a video, code, or any other way you feel would be best to show off your work. And hopefully you'll have learned a lot on the way. Now, what type of projects can you do? There's a few different categories of projects that we'll be able to help with. Research projects are one category. These projects will be about implementing papers or reproducing results. This is a great way to dive into the field of quantum computing, learn how to use these cloud-based quantum systems, and learn how to code a quantum computer. These projects will likely be more based on the physics side. Another category is contributing to existing software projects. On top of programming the actual quantum computers, there's contributions to be made in the open source quantum computing software, like the programming languages. There are mentors from Google, IBM, Amazon, Microsoft, all of who will be able to help find a good starting point for you to contribute in the software development kits and new languages. Also, some of the mentors will propose their own projects so you can help them with their work or projects as well. This may require a little more background in quantum computing depending on the projects proposed. If you have that background though, this will really help take your skills to the next level. Think about what kind of contribution you wanna make and why. This will help us match mentees with our mentors. This is the second cohort and cohort one had a lot of great projects. Here are a few examples of the projects that were completed in just three months. VQE algorithm on quantum mechanical solids. This mentee, Warren Alfonso, an undergrad at UC Berkeley, worked on applying the variational quantum eigensolver to predict magnetic properties of a quantum mechanical solid. This project was a quantum machine learning contribution to Penny Lane. This mentee, Niccolo Vitucci, added a cost module with a loss function to Penny Lane, a quantum machine learning library. And here's another project, exploring different designs and computational analysis of Grover's algorithm. This team of computer science and physics students explored and analyzed the complexity of new designs of Grover's algorithm. There's even more projects and you can check them out at the link below. Now, how do you have a successful application? A quantum computing degree, a PhD, is not required for this mentorship program. In fact, we really wanna encourage people with different backgrounds to apply. However, you should have some of these skills. If you don't yet, I'll link some books, courses, and resources in the description below. And if you're not ready yet, don't worry. This is only the second cohort and there'll be more. Get the background needed and you'll be well on your way. First, a quantum computing background really helps. If you've done one of these things, you're probably ready. If you've read a book on quantum computing, like the Nielsen and Chung textbook, maybe you've also finished a course on quantum computing, maybe at your university or online, or maybe you're self-taught and you've implemented some quantum algorithms on a simulator. Number two, coding skills. Python basics are super helpful since you'll probably be coding on a quantum computer and there's a lot of Python quantum computing frameworks. Check out my video for coding on quantum computers here, and I'll link some resources in the description below on Python coding if you wanna brush up on your skills. And number three is time. We'd really want you to commit six to eight hours a week on this project. This will give you the best chance to get to the end with a solid finished product. You can go over to the Quantum Open Source Foundation website here 
to get more information and apply. Since a lot of you have asked how you can get into quantum, this is your chance. The goal is to grow the open source community in quantum computing and make it a lot easier for newcomers to get into the field. We're here to connect people who want to get into quantum computing but may not have the resources to do so themselves with mentors from academia and industry. Now, we expect there to be a lot of applicants and not everyone can be accepted just because of the limited amount of mentors, but if you subscribe to this channel, I'll document what we're doing along the way.